I don't know how this gonna film because I am using um, a different tripod. So I don't know how the stability is on it. Um, Cause I need to set my old one up and I haven't had time to set it up. So I'm using the one that I had in my car already. So this may be a little shaky. So if it is, I'm sorry. <sighs> how have y'all been doing? Y'all, I got so much to tell y'all. So, number one in the morning, I got a bunch of stuff to do today. First of all, I'm going to the doctor because I have to see my rheumatology, a doc, um, rheumatology doctor. Um, then I'm going to take my car in because I have to get shocks done on my car. Hopefully, they give me a loaner car because um, I'm not trying to sit there all day. And what else I got going on? Yeah, doctor's appointment. Got to take my car in for shocks to get done. And I'm trying to make it sneak out to the nail shop without my daughter. But we shall see how that go. I don't know. I, I feel like I could have turned in that lane. I don't know why I didn't. I feel like I should have. I feel like they opened it for me to turn in it. But then they got this big old thing right there. So I kind of feel like I shouldn't have turned in it. I don't know. Mm, it's too late now to even worry about and think about it, y'all. Stopped at Starbucks. Got me a freebie. As I was saying, I decided to do something different with my channel. And um, I had a budgeting and planning channel separate from this channel. But I have decided as of recently to incorporate both channels together. So from now on, you'll get both channels. Um, so on this channel, we're revamping this channel. We're doing something new. So you're going to get a mixture of um, vlogs, budgeting, planning, hauls, a um, couple of collabs, tags. I'm going to really get into dedicating my time and effort to this channel. I don't feel like I was doing that before and I don't feel like I was giving you guys 100%. I am definitely now ready to give you guys a hundred percent so yeah I'm gonna be doing different with this check with this channel um, no more of the same old same old uh, stuff we're gonna have a real adult channel so we're gonna talk about real things on this channel and I'm just gonna be be me you know um, a lot of things I will be trying to cut out like the profanity and things like that and being more aware and self-conscious of the things that I say and how I, you know, the things I put out into the universe. Um, but yeah, this morning I have a doctor's appointment and then I am trying to go take my car in to get my shocks done. And then I have to, oh God, this traffic. And then I have to go, um, try to go get my feet done because my feet look horrible y'all it look like a little rat was gnawing on them and it's not cute especially for it's too hot to wear tennis shoes so i'm wearing a lot of sandals and it's not cute when your feet not cute so yeah and i'm drinking on a tea that i got from starbucks it's a passion tango tea it's not as good as my peach green tea but it was free and it's something I'm trying different. I'm trying different stuff now lately. So yeah. And what else? What else I got going on with you guys? And I want to stop off at Aldi's, Michael's, and Hobby Lobby today. Because I have some things I need to take care of. Yeah, I'm trying to get. I don't know if y'all. I don't know if I told y'all on this on my main channel. Well, now it is my only channel. But I know I told them on my budget and planning channel that I was doing lift, and I had to stop doing lift due to this Corona stuff because I just felt like I was putting me and my family in jeopardy, and also, um, I started, you know getting nervous about getting sick and then at one point I was sick and 
and the doctor diagnosed me with COVID. Now, let me tell you about this doctor. This doctor had not swabbed me. He had not did any type of blood work or anything to diagnose me with COVID. But because I was having problems breathing and I couldn't breathe and I had a cough for like two or three weeks, he said, oh yeah, I'm 100% sure it's COVID. Well, riddle me this. I had to call everybody that I had been around as if I was a had just gave them gonorrhea to tell them, hey, the doctor say I have COVID and you may have it. Go go get swabbed or tested. So the next day, I didn't call my job. I done, I done told them I done had to quarantine and everything. So the next day, I get my test results. They come in negative. So now I got to call everybody again and say, hey, false alarm. Don't have gonorrhea. No, no, I don't have gonorrhea. But I'm saying that's what I don't have COVID. It was a false alarm. Try your other sex partners. You know, so I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, this is some BS. And what really pissed me off was when they t t t when they put on your paperwork that you have COVID or they diagnose you with COVID, they put a CDC number or a, 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 a certain number under in your case file. And they report that to the CDC. So my question is this, how many people have you told that they have COVID before you even swabbed them or tested them? And why would you put that on somebody's paperwork without knowing for sure? I was such a nervous wreck. Like I was literally crying because I had been around my kids. I had been around my husband. I had been around my loved ones. I was a nervous wreck and I was so pissed off that he was so reckless with that situation. So just know if you go to the doctor and they say you got COVID and they have not swabbed the test you, don't believe that miss. Um, Cause my breathing was, okay. He said my oxygen levels was at a hundred percent. My heart looked at good, but come on. If my oxygen is at a hundred percent, I'm telling you I can't breathe. Then you need to, figure out what it is so he did an x-ray and a cat scan and he said oh yeah i see the covid um in your lung areas i see pneumonia that looks like it could be covid in your lung areas first of all you didn't see pneumonia <coughs> you probably did see pneumonia but it wasn't covid and <laughs> the only reason you seen that like my like my pulmonary doctor said because that next day when i same day i got the results i had an appointment with my pulmonary doctor he said like what he's seen, had he done his work and his research and really took time to get to know his patient, what he would have seen is that I have granules on my lungs because I have sarcoidosis. I'm going to stop claiming it. They say I have sarcoidosis. Who is they? They are the doctors. And he said like, that's what he's seen on your lungs. And he said it was small. He said it was really, really small. He said it's, yeah, that's what the doctor said. He said I see small um, um, traces of pneumonia on your lung is very very small it's like you're one of the best cases I've seen okay so why you didn't do your homework but yeah anyway my pulmonary doctor said that what he seen was the granules or the scarring from the sarcoids so he done put me in a frenzy that made me lose my mind that made me feel like I was dying for nothing Like, this is crazy. Yeah, they letting all these cars and trucks go. I'm about to get over there on that side and go. Because clearly, this side ain't moving. Clearly, I need to be over here. Because this side getting things done. We just sitting ducks over here. They letting 18 wheelers and everything go over here. But, um, yeah, now I'm on the way to see my rheumatologist, a doctor, and then I'm gonna go get my car fixed. And I know y'all seen the new banner. Um, I'm thinking about doing some new pictures for my, um, photo for the channel. I'm just into doing some things different. 
I'm tired of my channel not being everything that it could be and everything that it should be. Um, and not saying that I strive to be some huge major YouTuber, but I do feel like I've been doing YouTube for a while, so I do feel like my channel should be bigger than what it is right now. Um, I just have so, you know, have you ever had so many thoughts in your head and you have so many ideas and you know they're good ideas, but there's so many of them, you don't know how to put them out in the universe and you don't know where to start and you don't know what to do. That is how my mind works. My cousin called me hyperactive, but <laughs> I'm always thinking of different things and and, and, and different ideals and I never go forth with them because I'm scared of failing or I'm scared of not you know doing it right and that's that's hindering me as a person and that's hindering me as an individual and I'm tired of being hindered I'm tired oh also y'all know I got my uh, degree in business management but now I'm actually going for, um, I'm getting my associates in associates in applied science, associates applied in science, I think that's what it is. It's an AAS, associates applied in science, or yeah, I think it's associates applied in science. I'm getting that degree, scared, nervous, but I'm ready. I'm more ready than I've ever been in my whole entire life. I, I'm, I'm ready to, to have and do th different things. So this is my next step. And if all goes well, I'm not gonna say if all goes well. After that, if I decide to, I might go for my bachelor's. I don't know. I just feel like I'm gonna stop limiting myself and stop hindering my own self and stop um, finding ways to discredit all the things that I can add into this world, into this universe that are good. I'm gonna stop doing that. And that is how I'm taking the first step. So, um, the kids have been fine. I know you've probably seen um, them on Instagram. You probably don't see a lot of Lil Red because Lil Red does not like the camera. And I'm not one of them parents just because I'm vlogging, you gonna vlog too. Or just because I'm taking a picture, I'm gonna force you in the picture. I'm not that parent. None of my kids signed up for this, so that's, it's their rights to, to either be or not to be in the cameras. Um, my oldest one, he's been working so hard. Um, so that's why we haven't really vlogged together. And that's crazy because we've been in the same part together recently. Because I've taken him a couple of places. I just never thought to pick up the camera. So next time I might pick up the camera. But we didn't do nothing but go to um, GameStop. And then he came back home. So that's why I didn't really film. But yeah, I have so many new things coming to this channel. I can't wait till you guys see what I have in store. You already see the different look I'm bringing. I'm trying to bring just a different... A not not a not a different me, but a more productive me, a more mature me, a more um, about business me. Um, it just really because I'm I'm 39. I'm knocking on 40, honey. She looks good, but she's knocking on 40, and I'm finally in a place of peace. I'm finally in a pet. I'm, I've always been a happy person, but I'm even more happier than I was before. And I'm like really starting to have all my little ducks in a row. And I've learned so much in this journey and along the way that I just want to share with you guys. Even from a financial aspect, I'm learning how to save money. I'm learning how to budget. I'm learning how to... Um, hold myself accountable when it comes to spending. I'm learning um, 
different ways to save money, different ways to be accountable for money, different investments, different all kinds of stuff. Y'all, I'm learning. And I just want to share it with you guys because I feel like you guys deserve to have the same insight and the same um, type of knowledge about certain things that I gain. So why not share? That's the problem with us now. We don't share what we know with others in a fear. This eyelash is bothering me. And I don't even have eyelashes on. I have mascara on. We don't share what we know in the fear that the next person might be better at it than we are. And that's not right. Like, I gave um, one of my friends some free game on something. And um, she was like, you know, when I get that, I'm going to give you a finder's fee. I'm like, for what? She's like, no, no, because you didn't have to. But I'm, I'm if, excuse me, <coughs> if I'm your friend and I know a way to increase your income and I'm not helping you or I you ask me about it and I don't want to give you information on it, then I'm not your friend, boo. Because if I'm your friend, I want to see you come up just like I'm coming up. And I want to see you do better just like I'm trying to do better. So what the hell and if i'm your friend and i'm giving you this information i'm not going to be expecting anything in return i'm doing it because simply i'm your friend and that's what friends do not because i feel like in the end you're gonna reward me with something for helping you that's the problem everybody be looking for rewards when they do something for people then you're not doing it from your heart and you're not doing it you know, it's not coming from a good place. So if you can't do nothing for me from your heart and it's not coming from a good place, I don't want it. Because unless I say, oh, well, you know, it, unless, okay, if it was like a certain, certain it depends on what it is. Because if it was a certain thing and I just couldn't, because it was a business type of thing where it had to be done in a certain monetary form, then that's different. But if it's just you inquiring about something and trying to educate yourself on something to make a better way for you, why not? Why not? Who? Why not? What is the problem with reaching out and helping each other? I don't understand it, nor would I ever understand it. Okay, y'all. So I have pulled up to my next appointment. I will see you guys as soon as I get done.